So I was lucky enough to go to the Tribeca Film Festival this past week, and I saw two films, and I'm going to review both of them. Psychopaths is the newest film from Mickey Keating. Everybody who knows me knows I'm a huge fan of his work. It stars Ashley Bell, Angela Trimber, Sam Zimmerman, uh, James Landry he he Hebert, I believe it's pronounced Hebert or Hebert, I'm not sure. And it's... Describing the plot of this film is rather interesting because it's an anthology of sorts. It tells the story of a, a night full of complete chaos and madness when a well-known serial killer is killed and chaos spreads throughout the city. This movie was like sex for the eyes. As I said, anybody who knows me knows I'm a huge fan of Mickey Keating as a director. I think he is really excellent. Darling is one of my favorite films. So I had really, you know, high hopes for Psychopath. I was really looking forward to seeing it. It had been one of my more anticipated films for the past... since, well, since I heard about it. Seeing it, I was really, really, really impressed. This film is just fucking nuts. It's hyper-stylized, hyper-violent, and eye-fuckingly psychedelic is a good word I can use for it. While I don't think this surpassed Darling in terms of his filmmaking, I do have a certain appreciation for what he accomplished with this. Hearing him talk about it in the Q&A, he really was trying to make a film that was, as he described it, a collage of chaos and madness. And it really shows, and this movie really feels like Keating completely unrestricted, unhindered, totally willing to, totally willing and able to do whatever he wanted with it. This movie is so strange and so surreal. There's not as much of a narrative to it as his other films, but where the narrative is lacking, this film takes the theme of madness from his previous films, which is in every single one, and expands it to a much wider scale. All of his previous films, be it Darling, be it Pod, be it Ritual, be it Carnage Park, were all very contained. And this takes the madness of those films and expands it to a citywide level and shows you multiple different instances of this madness and how it manifests in certain people and how it affects certain people. And you're treated to several different stories of all these different psychopaths and the chaos that they are creating and the chaos that they are involved in, and it's just a beautiful tapestry of insanity. This film almost feels like something... If the Joker was real and directed a film, it would be Psychopaths. There are so many really excellent techniques in this film, mainly in just the sense that it makes you feel insane. It makes you feel as crazy and mad as the people on screen and everything happening on screen just serves to fuel the overall insanity of its own world. Keating shot entire scenes of this film completely horizontally, so the action will be happening normally, but everything will be tilted 90 degrees to the side, and it's maddening, and it's cool, and there's just so many scenes like that. There are scenes where characters will come out of the darkness in these eerie white masks and just be dancing around in blackness or in just just really low gray lighting and it just it feels very surreal and this movie like i said isn't so much a narrative piece mind you there is a narrative there a loose one but it's there it rather just serves to kind of put you up to the peephole of psychosis and let you watch and be kind of just like... The performances in this film are excellent. Angela Trimber was wonderful playing a sort of seductress who is prowling the night and preying on men who harm women. You have James Landry Hebert, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, as a strangler. You have Ashley Bell giving a fantastic performance with a split personality where she thinks she's like a 50s glamour star, but also is like a fucking lunatic. And then of course you have Larry Fessenden tying it all together, just being giving his fucking weird Joker-ish rants that'll just kind of fade in here and there throughout the, throughout the film. And also you have Shudder curator Sam Zimmerman, who is in this film as a hitman, and is, despite never actually seeing his face, gives a really fantastic performance through a fucking clown mask. The soundtrack to this movie is also amazing and really serves to like get you just totally immersed in this world of just fucking insanity. I was actually fortunate enough to ask 
uh, Keating a question at the the follow the Q and A following the film, and he gave a really unique insight into his intentions and his technique, and I really it gave me a newfound appreciation not only for Psychopaths but for all his films about all the variation in his films and the fact that he's made so many different unique types of films going from you know a 60s psychological thriller and darling to something more along the lines of sci-fi with pod something more grindhouse with carnage park and now this is basically his, his anthology film in psychopaths and he was and i was curious what was next for him and what he said was that he's open to really anything and but w what he strives to do is to create characters who are very memorable and easily recognizable simply from seeing them you'll know what film they're in and that is really so true and something he's very easily accomplished darling you know the character of darling is very recognizable pat healy's character from carnage park is very recognizable brian morbent's character from pod is very recognizable all these characters are really unique and original and very distinct not only in the world of their film but in just cinema as a whole and that is really impressive, and I never really picked up on that until I heard him talk about it, and that's really cool. All of his films have that recurring theme of madness, but to see him tackle it in so many different ways is really fascinating and really cool, and to see it manifest in different ways through all these different characters of his is awesome. And Psychopaths really added to that and really gave a whole bunch of new characters of his a chance to shine and they really do shine in this film and that's why i ultimately appreciated it it's really really solid i love this film um like i said it's not my favorite of his in that i feel that darling was a stronger narrative piece overall but i really really appreciate what keating tried and succeeded in doing in psychopaths and that he just created a complete carnival ride of just craziness it's madness caught on camera, and you can really tell he wanted to... He let everybody go all out. Every actor in this film he gave total freedom to, to just go fucking nuts. And in a way, that really works incredibly well for this movie, because scenery chewing doesn't work in a lot of films, but in this movie, I actually really appreciated it and really thought it served to enhance the overall experience of the film and that is really what psychopaths is it's not as much a narrative piece as it is an experience and i think that it is definitely not for everybody is anyone is everyone going to understand it by the end probably not but if you are the kind of person who likes style over substance if you're the kind of person who likes just completely being immersed in a fucking fun house of weird trippy visuals Gorgeous trippy visuals, mind you, but trippy visuals and just a psychedelic tilt-a-whirl. I think you'll like this movie. It's really, really cool and really weird and beautiful for every second, of, but that's no surprise considering Keating's other work. I would say to check this out. It's it's when it comes when it when it gets distribution, I would say definitely check it out. It's a really fun time. If you're a fan of Keating's other work, you will like this, I have no doubt. And overall, I'm going to say Psychopaths is, for me, definitely solid. I'm really excited for other people to be able to see this and talk about it with them because this is a really cool film. Uh, it's very unique and very original and very strange. And I love movies like that. I love things that are sort of transgressive like that. And this really does feel like an, a new... It's definitely a new type of filmmaking for Keating, but it ultimately just feels like a really fresh take on something that has been done before, which is, you know, just people going nuts and killing people. This is a really unique way of looking at it. It's a really unique t way to tackle a slasher film. And I appreciate that. I thought that this was really cool. It does a lot of things that I had not really seen done before. And it's really, like I said, it's really unique and really psychedelic and just a fun time all around. I would definitely say check it out, and if you like this, and you've if you were at Tribeca and you saw Psychopaths, comment below and let me know what you thought of it. I would love to talk to you about it. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and you can, you know, click down there and like and comment and subscribe.